It's time. Okay, wait. I might, I might actually, I might need some of these. Hold on. What's up, everybody? It's Katniss again. It's nice to see all of you. I hope you have been having a good day. If you haven't been having a good day, bring it in, bring it in. I got some huggies right here. If you have been having a good day, it's okay. Bring it in, bring it in. I got some huggies right here. Today, we are going to be continuing the spring cleaning. If you haven't seen my last video, I did a kind of kitchen and living room reset. I'll have the link in the description below, or if I figure it out, it'll be somewhere on the screen. My last video, I talked about how our lease was going to be up next month in April, and we had to find a new place to live, basically. We did find a new place and I'm super excited. It's super nice. It's actually bigger than this place and it's cheaper. So like, how could I not be excited? But as much as I am super excited, I need to be really, 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 really real with you. I am not about to move all this stuff. So... In this video, we are going to be continuing the spring cleaning by decluttering, okay? Decluttering. We need to get rid of stuff. I ain't trying to fight anybody, okay? But if we're being the most real that reality can be, we all have stuff in our house that we really do not need. We have stuff that we're keeping just because we'll use it later or maybe we might need it. Or we have clothes that we're hanging on to because we're trying to wait until we lose weight and that ain't happening right now. N nothing against anybody because that that is me. It's just it ain't happening right now. It's okay. You can, you can let those jeans go. I'm talking to myself. <laughs> oh, I feel so attacked and I just want to fight myself. But anyway, the plan is to declutter the shit out of the house so that we don't make it harder on ourselves when we're actually moving and packing there's three places okay first we're gonna do the closet get rid of a bunch of clothes the second is the junk drawers so these drawers that are in my husband's closet right now we just have random crap in there and so i just want to clean it out third is the storage there's boxes and bins in there full of stuff that we honestly have not touched since we moved in here so I'm, I'm pretty sure we ain't need it. Anyway, let's go.
Okay, so I actually made really good progress in the closet. Pants. Totally less pants, which is good. Totally less shirts, which is good. I kind of organize them like these are like my cardigans or like the thicker winter stuff, sweaters, hoodies, whatever. And then I got shit ton of anime shirts. I think this is a Nejire one. And then I got work clothes. And then as you saw, I went through that and that. And that, you didn't see me going through that top one because it had like bralettes and stuff like that. So it kind of feels like I have no clothes anymore, which is not true because there's a bunch of clothes in the living room on our couch. But it does feel good. I got rid of a lot of stuff that I was not using. And honestly, I could probably get rid of more clothes, but we'll just save that for later, I think. <laughs> I feel like I did really good. And i want to take a little snack break snack break bro that smells so good it smells so good This is so freaking, this is delicious. This is freaking good. It's very moist, very soft. It's not like a crazy amount of sweet. I'm not having to reach for my water bottle every time I take a bite, but it has such a good amount of flavor. Oh, ho, ho. bro, this is, this is it. This is it. This is it. This is legit. It's legit. If you're in Virginia, this is it. Since I finished the clothes, I still want to go through the closet. We have this black rolling drawer from Ikea and it just has crap in it. So I kind of got to clean that out. So let's continue. What's kind of funny is like I was talking about earlier not saving stuff because you think you're going to use it later and you don't actually use it but there are some stuff that you should keep like you know batteries <laughs> don't throw away your batteries because you're not using them right now just you know you you, you know actually finished the drawers it feels a lot cleaner but i realize that the bane of my existence is mail fucking mail mail sucks spam mail sucks bills suck when they arrive in the mail but then it's like it has all your information so how are you gonna throw them away what if someone steals your identity you never know nowadays and now you're stuck with a pile of fucking mail hidden in cracks and crevices of your house that you don't even realize and now you got a stack of them i think i will deal with the mail later because you know what fuck it just fuck it Fuck it. <laughs> there is a bunch of stuff that I realize I should probably sell. So I did try to separate it. Some of it 
or actually most of it is stuff that we bought for the wedding that we just don't use anymore since the drawers are done my husband did grab those boxes from the storage i only asked him to take out three or four of the boxes and then we can call it a day I'm done. I'm done. I'm done and I'm tired, guys. <laughs> we actually did get a lot done today. Cleaning out the closet. I'm cleaning out my closet. I'm sorry, mama. I never meant to hurt you. If you guys comment what song that is down below, kudos. You get kudos from me. <laughs> if it's correct. You get kudos only if it's correct, not if you're wrong. If you're wrong, you better do your homework, do your research. I cleaned out and reorganized the black junk drawers that we have in my husband's closet. A lot of it is just like, you know, tools, batteries, that kind of stuff. But I did want to get the trash out of there. So that's that's nice. It feels a lot better. And um, took a look at some of those boxes that my husband took out of storage only to realize that most of it is going to be sold anyway. So it's really good to go back and like check everything because there's stuff that you could probably sell. There's stuff that you might want to donate and it helps other people and helps you in the process because now you have a cleaner home, a more organized space. If there's one thing that I am always reminded of when I'm decluttering, it's that I waste so much money buying clothes that I wear once and then I'm bored with it or I didn't really like the fit as much as I thought I did and I never wear it anymore or supplies that I never really needed because if I just went and double checked if I actually had super glue then I wouldn't have bought another one and end up with three in my house and it's stuff like that that's like it helps me remember that I need to be more mindful with my money I think it really helps to go through everything as well because you can rehome things. I'm trying to be a lot more careful when it comes to just throwing stuff away straight up. But like, what can I 
recycle? What can I rehome? I'd rather do that than continue to just throw trash out. And not only am I wasting money, now I'm wasting materials and stuff. And all of it is just going to take up space at a landfill instead of looking nice and shiny in somebody else's house. I've been watching videos of like home organization and sword organization, but there's this one YouTube video that I had watched where he was giving tips of having a less cluttered home. And one of the things he said was, if you're going to buy something, know where it's going to be. Don't just buy something because it looks cute. It looks nice. You want it. Okay, that's good and great. But already visualize where in your house you're going to place it because then once you get home there's a space there's a home for it and you don't have to worry about it that is another thing that i'm trying to be more aware of because if you have a spot in your home for it already it's not just going to be lying everywhere and anywhere and you have more stuff to clean now it's kind of funny because like in my head it's not because i'm trying to be like Oh, I'm a super clean and organized person. It's just because I'm fucking lazy and I want to stop cleaning every two seconds. Who's with me? Who? Who's with me? <laughs> anyway, that is all. That's it for this video. Get your clean on. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button and comment below. What are you guys decluttering? What are some things in your house that you're trying to get rid of? Do you have any storage organization tips or any cleaning tips for me because I'm a crappy adult and I need them and any help would be welcome. But yeah, I hope you guys have a great day, a great weekend, a great week, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!